Hello everybody, uh, this is a quick case that I was looking at and I think it conveys a very simple yet very important and basic concept. Uh, it's a concept that's good to learn uh, for juniors and it's good to remember for seniors. You notice uh, by looking at the chest x-ray that the patient has what looks like an enlarged heart. That is true but there are a few considerations to keep in mind since not everything that looks like a big heart is indeed a big heart. The basic rule is that for us to call cardiac enlargement, you compare the size of the heart to the size of the chest. That's what we call the cardiothoracic ratio. And if it's more than half, so more than 50%, you're usually talking about cardiomegaly. In this case, I agree that the heart seems enlarged, but I don't think the heart is as big as we think. The reason is, when you look at the cardiac shadow, you're not looking at the heart alone. You're basically looking at the heart, you're looking at the pericardium, and you're looking at what surrounds it, such as pericardial fat. That's why some people like to report these as the cardio-pericardial silhouette. So it's not only the heart, it's the heart and what surrounds it, and they call it silhouette, which stands for a shadow. For example, a pericardial effusion could show what appears to be a big heart, although the heart might be normal in size, and what's really enlarged is the pericardial space that's distended by fluid. In this case, I think there is something else that adds to the apparent enlargement of the heart. If you look at the edge of the heart, you'll notice that it seems to be triangular, where it's joining the diaphragms on each side. Not only that, if you look at this triangular area, you notice that the density is not as wide as the remainder of the soft tissues. For example, compare that to the central region of the heart, you'll notice that the heart is very wide. Well, this has a wide density that shows vasculature behind it, kind of a transparent opacity. This is typically what we see with fat densities on a chest X-ray. Here's a CT scan on a different patient to convey the same concept. You're looking at the patient from his feet, and you could see the labeling as anterior, posterior, right, and left. You're also looking here at the heart, and you see it as one lump because there is no contrast given. What is relevant to the teaching point I'm trying to convey here is not the heart itself, it's what surrounds the heart. If you look at this area here, it has a low density that's very similar to the subcutaneous density here. And both these areas represent subcutaneous fat and pericardial fat. So what you're looking at here is fat density. Again, the fat density surrounding the heart is pericardial fat. And this differs from patient to patient. Some patients might have this fat being more pronounced and others might have it almost imperceptible. And if this fat surrounding the heart, the pericardial fat, is more pronounced than expected on a chest X-ray if you don't keep attention to the appearance of the cardiac contour and the density of this fat, you may consider this part of cardiomegaly. So to summarize what we talked about, cardiomegaly is defined as a heart that's bigger than the chest diameter by 50%. That's what we call the cardiothoracic ratio. However, it's not only the heart that you see as a white shadow on chest x-rays, it's the heart, the pericardium, and the fat surrounding them. The fat around the pericardium is pericardial fat. This has a peculiar appearance on chest radiographs. It has lesser density than expected for soft tissues on x-rays. And we saw the appearance uh, as it corresponds to a CT scan. So remember, not everything that looks like a big heart is indeed a big heart. Thanks for watching and we'll see you with more cases later.